I have a sensory box. For all the children that are at home that have not been to school, especially early childhood, the little ones, they probably, you guys probably have um, a sand water table at your school, right? Or in your classroom. For parents, you guys can make one of these at home and all you need is a box. And what I've done is went out and collected a bunch of stuff from outside off the ground. Um, and the pine, it smells really good. You can't smell it, but I can smell it. And I also have in here some animal repl replicas. Um, this is a set of forest animals. There's awesome some insects in here and some snakes. And I also have the snake resting on a rock because that is common for you to see a snake sunbathing on a rock. So just take a look at this box. And nothing was bought. Only thing that was bought or purchased was the animal that I used to put in this box. Another resource with this story are these puppets. You can use these puppets to make the story come alive. There's a possum, here is a skunk, and a raccoon. And these are the folk menace puppets, which is cited in the document that is attached to the blog post about this story time. Okay. There's some animal track cards. Uh, if you guys are going, if you're going to go outside or you're going to go for a nature walk, here's an easy, very, very easy animal track guide that you can put in your pocket to identify some animal tracks or animal footprints. Okay. That is the end of story time, and I hope this has inspired you guys to get outside. Go on nature walk, go look for some animals, go look for some animal homes. And don't forget to utilize the resources as um, tagged along to the blog post. And have a great day.